I'll be going over the reinforced concrete design books that I have on my desk and I'll be going over how valuable they are, how much I use them, and eventually if they're worth having on your desk. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm a structural project manager in the Southern California area. Let's jump into today's content. The first book that I have on reinforced concrete design on my desk is Reinforced Concrete Mechanics and Design by James McGregor and James White. To me, this is my uh, reference manual of choice, my reference book of choice. Uh, it has a lot of design examples and it has really good uh, theory and design and it's very comprehensive. It goes over shear walls and a lot of other uh, structural systems, foundations, etc. So it's very comprehensive. It has good theory and it has good design examples. So I ended up using this a lot uh, during my career so far. This is definitely a must have reference in my library. My other reference book with uh, Design of Reinforced Concrete is um, Design of Reinforced Concrete by Jack McCormick and Russell Brown. You know, I, this was my undergrad book and it was it was a pretty good book. I, I sometimes use it, but I don't use it as much as uh, the other book that I just went over. But it's it's still a good reference book, but I just ended, uh, I didn't tend to use this too much just because it wasn't as comprehensive and the design examples uh, just weren't as detailed as the other book that I just mentioned. So it's a good one to have, but uh, you could do without it if you already have a good reference book that you prefer. The other reinforced concrete book that I have is, uh, oh, it's here. You can see that it's, <laughs> it's not in my office, so <laughs> I don't use it that often, but I have it anyways. This is the design of concrete structures uh, by Nilsson, Darwin, and Dolan. I use this also in one of my undergraduate classes. It's a good theoretical book. And it actually explained the theory pretty well, but I kind of uh, didn't use it too much when I got into the industry just because of the, the lack of example problems. It has some, but again, it was not um, as practical. The design examples weren't as practical and useful to me when I got into the industry as the other books that I mentioned. So. It's definitely good for theory, but uh, as you can see, I don't. It's not on my desk right now, but it's a good book to have, anyways, if you prefer this type of book. And the other book I have that's not, also, not on my work desk is. This is I'm getting more into the seismic zones, but this is the seismic design of reinforced concrete buildings uh, by Mo Moelli. Jack Moelli, I may, I may be slaughtering that pronunciation, but this one was a really good book. This is a, if, if you never went to grad school, this is the type of things that we learned about uh, seismic design. They've done a lot of tests. So you get to see a, a lot about what they tested and how they came up with the design codes for, let's say for uh, concrete moment frames and concrete shear walls. So it gets into the a lot of the seismic design theory and where they came from. So this was a, a good read and it's it's pretty much what we went over when we were taking uh, grad school. So if you've never learned about it and you never took a, a graduate level classes in concrete seismic design. So it's definitely a good book to have if you want to learn more about why we design the way we do in seismic areas. So a lot of the seismic de detailing that you see in reinforced concrete shear walls and concrete moment frames, diaphragms, uh, collectors, and I think even foundations. It's, it's a good uh, reference to have to kind of just find out why we design the way we do. The last book that I have on my desk is another uh, Seox Structural Seismic Design Manual. Again, if you're in the seismic areas, uh, these there's a series of these for like a wood, concrete, steel, and I think all of these are essential if you're in uh, a seismic area just because they have really good examples on on all the seismic force resisting systems uh, like for reinforced concrete shear walls they go over coupling beams special moment frames uh, pile foundations diaphragms collectors so uh, you're gonna have too many examples of those so and it also does a good job of explaining how those types of systems work so definitely a must-have if you are in reinforced concrete design and you're in the seismic area. 
Make sure to check out my podcast. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And comment below. Do you agree with my book reviews or not? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.